Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Tubsy here today. We're gonna to do a video on how to change your background on the IC7 dash. We've had a few people request it from us now. So we're just gonna to whip together a quick little how to. Um, let's switch over to the computer and get into it. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to open up Helltech ICC software. You want to load your map from your dash. See, I've already got it saved to my computer, but I'll still load it from the dash. And we want to wait for it to load. Um, we're going to save it. So you guys would hit save, but I'm just saving as. And we're just going to overwrite this one here. Save. Yes, replace. And then we're going to go to where you've got it saved at. So mine's on the desktop. We're going to open it up. Go to my dash. And this is the one we got, we've got. we just saved. So we want to open it with WinRAR. This is how I do it. And you go to into your images folder. Go down till you find... Uh, keep going down. This one, Hero Screen Taco. So what you want to do is you want to open that up in Photoshop. See, and then because I've already changed mine, you know, usually it'd have a Helltech logo in there, but what you do is you just erase out your Helltech logo, put the logo of your choice in there. So let's just fucking say, righto, got a clean slate. We wanted to put the Helltech logo in there, so let's just uh, close that off. Righto, so anyways, here's one that I've prepared earlier. Um, when you get around to editing yours and saving it, you'd want to just go into here, export as PNG. And then just save it to wherever you're going to find it easy. Um, once you've done that, you want to go back to your folder that you got open in WinRAR with your images. So here's the image that we've made. I'm going to copy that over into our images folder. Press OK. Then we want to go back to the IC software and we're going to open that map up now. So we'll go back to the map. That was the one we edited. And as you can see, when it loads, it should show us the logo has now changed. And then if you're happy with how it's orientated and sitting and stuff, what you want to do is just send to dash, sit down the bottom here, it's updating. done and then ready you'll see the dash reboot and we have changed the logo again to something else uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions please drop a comment down below don't forget to subscribe um, we're going to try and do some more of these little tutorial videos whatever you guys need a hand with so yeah just let us know thank you